It is the 13th of October 2020. A warm welcome to you. Now, thank you very much for keeping it Y254. The president of the Law Society of Kenya, that is Nelson Harvey, led protests yesterday demanding that all legislators vacate parliament buildings over Chief Justice David Maraga's dissolution advisory to the president. Now, according to Nelson Harvey, parliament is and Ill is illegitimate. Is this true? Well, what does this mean for all members of parliament? What does it mean for your member of parliament? If parliament is illegitimate, uh, what does it mean for their seat? Now, on Saturday, we had prayer that took place in state, in state House led by the President Uhuru Mwiga Kenyatta. Lots of proclamations were made on that day, including one by the President said that he was asking for forgiveness, forgiving those who offended him and asking those that he offended to forgive him. On that same same Saturday, we had a meeting happening in Bondo where hundreds of Kikuyu elders made a historic trip to Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga's home where they declared that Raila Odinga is the community's 2022 choice. What does it mean for the DP President William Ruto? Tonight, let's talk about the Hustler Nation, the two-thirds gender rule. Let's talk about legislation in Kenya. Let's talk about the state of the nation. Joining me tonight, I am joined by Honorable Mili Odiambo, Member of Parliament for Suba North Constituency. She is also an author, a motivational speaker, and an award-winning uh, award women, children, and human rights activists. Honorable Mili Odiambo, karibu sana. Now, I'm giving you two minutes to address the nation. Give us your stand. What is your stand about the current legislation and their pace in fulfilling their legislative agenda in the country. Your two minutes starts now. You can look at your camera there. Thank you. Um, and good evening, Kenya. Uh, as members of parliament, we are actually on focus uh, and we are actually delivering our mandate uh, or legislative mandate. Uh, we are on course. In fact, this is one of the most exciting uh, parliaments that I've been to because we have a very young and vibrant parliament with very excellent ideas. In fact, the challenge we have now is time because we lost one year uh, after the election because of the issues that were bedeviling the country. And we have yet lost another one year through coronavirus. But on the whole, despite all that, parliament has done relatively well uh, in terms of legislative work. In terms of oversight work, even just this evening, we have sent a very strong message to an institution that was not doing well in, in ensuring that there's no corruption in tendering process. So we are doing pretty well as a legislative body. All yeah. right. Yes. Thank you very much. Now you may come. You Thank may have you. your seat there. Karibu sana. Now introducing next, who is joining me also in studio, Honorable David Ole Sankok. He is a nominated member of parliament and also the former chairman of the National Council of Persons with Disabilities. Honorable Sankok is also one who is interested in leadership and governance. Also one who is passionate about persons with disabilities and the hospitality industry. Honorable Sankok, karibu sana. Thank you very much. Now, I'm giving you two minutes to address the nation. What is your stand about the current legislation and their pace in fulfilling their legislative agenda in the country? Your two minutes starts now. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, as you know that uh, as parliament and as members of parliament, we have uh, four roles. That is uh, representation, oversight, budgeting, and legislation. And I think we have performed very well. If I was to award max, then I will give around 80%, which is still an A, despite the fact that we had some little challenges here and there. But we have done our job. We have always been in our workstation, which is parliament. And uh, I think you chose the right people because uh, according to our performance in parliament, the two of us were the best and the second best. That is, Leo uh, Diambo was the best overall. I was the second best in our role as members of parliament. So we have passed uh, uh, some laws. Uh, we have not been able to pass others, and that is why I'm saying that we have an A, despite the fact that there have been challenges. 
challenges after the election. They were swearing in, and there was demonstration all over. They were by court of parliament, by the NASA group of members of parliament. And then the COVID-19, of course, we have to do some spacing. So a few members had to access the chambers, but we have done uh, well. We, I can say we have an A, which right. is still a pass. You have an A. Yes. <laughs> Karibu sana. You can have your seat there. That is their stand. Remember, we are live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. It is the 13th of October 2020, 16 minutes past 8 a.m. This is the stand. My name is Ram Maguko. The stand starts now.